Thanks. I guess. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, this kid ran off and I had to chase after him into the dungeon, but now I am not only reunited with him, but I now literally am playing as him. And interestingly enough, you have the Goron roll, just like in Majora's Mask. And that's not the only thing they took from Majora's Mask. Listen to this. Oh. They actually took his sound. They actually took his hurt sound effect from Goron Link in Majora's Mask. I just love little nods like that. It's really neat. Take this. <laughs> nice. Obviously, they're, they're rockheads, so they're going to require a little more ingenuity, even though I can run into actual rocks just fine. Apparently, they're tougher than the actual rocks, somehow. You know, if that makes any sense. It doesn't to me, but hey, you're going to do it, right? There you go. Just got to... Put some spin into it, you know? Now I understand how they're gonna do this. They're gonna have you keep switching over and over again. It's gonna be a mechanic that's gonna wear its well out its welcome pretty fast, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Forget you. Take this. Take this! Die, you freaking creature. Suck it in. Nice. Yeah, prick. Huh, I see. Cool. Okay, what does this do? Ah, both of you gotta press it at the same time, don't you? What you wanna bet? Oh, or you could have just put a pot on there that I just destroyed. Oh well. Doesn't matter, I guess, does it? Let's see, how do I get across that? Do I just have to roll really fast? Oh, you do! That's all you gotta do! Excellent! You're welcome, Link. Oh good, it doesn't disappear. You got a bomb chew! You can carry up to ten bomb chews in your bag. They will follow the path that you draw on your map. Nice. You got the bomb chew bag, Link? Bomb chews are bombs that run along a path you draw. You can navigate a path for a bomb chew by drawing on the lower screen. They're amazingly handy. Go ahead, try one out to get the hang of it. Nice. Now you're free. You're free as well. Almost. Apparently not entirely. But hey, you're getting there. Oh, you alright? Sorry about that. Uh-oh. Can he get sunk into the quicksand? I hope not. I freaking hope not. Ooh, nice. Sweet. Thanks, little guy. I really appreciate it. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. Oh, you're still alive? Well, uh, your efforts won't be in vain. Probably should have said that. Die! Die, you little freaks! You little freak shows! Nice! I was just killing you for the sake of killing you, but getting you a treasure, che treasure chest is nice. You got a Gorn Ember! Amber. This hard, valuable mineral has a bug inside of it! Cool! Excellent! Nice! Okay, let's try this out, huh? Ah, look at that. It even guides you. It's even on a grid. That makes it easier to draw. That's awesome. Go, little mouse. Go! Freedom mouse. You made the spikes go down. We can finally pass through. Are you doing well over the way over there, brother Goro Link? I found a hole that I can squeeze through, brother. I will go and explore and see if I can find us a way out. We must split for a bit. See you later, brother. Wait, Gagoran, wait! Aw, oh, he's gone. I hope that he'll be safe on his own. I guess we'll keep searching then. Maybe we'll find some pure metal in here. Yeah, hopefully. I wouldn't count on it too strongly, but you never know. Right? Hmm, what do 
we have here? Prick! I forgot, they're the ones that always... They're always shocking. Dang it. I don't have time to screw around with you, little weirdo. You, you screwball. Screwball in the corner pocket. Excellent. There you go. Go, Freedom Mouse, go! Nice. That's what I call a bridge. An abridged series. Sorry. It's probably a bad joke. Oh well. What are you gonna do, right? Hmm. So this way was actually just a shortcut to get back to the beginning. Very devious. Nice. I like how they have infinite bombs and infinite bomb shoes. That's very convenient. Even though I could only hold one more. Eh, why not? May as well get my investment back. Okie dokie then. Oh crap. Those things suck. Literally. There you go. Bombs away! Okay, I didn't... I didn't intend to do that, because I didn't even see it, but okay. Sure, why not? Cool. That was unnecessary, considering those nuts give infinite supplies of these things, but, you know. Still pretty cool. <laughs> you know, let's just have it go all over the place. It'll look like an actual mouse. Maybe it'll actually fool enemies to think it's a mouse. Until it blows up in their face. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, that was per that's kind of stupid. Ah. That's why he was doing that. There you go. Now you'll cough something up of actual value, won't you? Here you go. Bombs away! Nicely done. Oh, okay. Now I see. Let me guess. You need to blow it up, and quickly... Uh, okay. Well, how are you supposed to do that, then? Doesn't make much sense. What's over there? Seems peculiar. Ah, a switch. There's a lot of things that I can't seem to do around here. If I had to guess, I have to simultaneously make them both struck at the same time. And I know exactly how to do that. I'll just send it along its path here. While I hurry it up, and once it gets to its target, I'll quickly hit the other one. Crap. Didn't work. It immediately unclicks itself before the cutscene even finishes. That's gonna be tricky. How am I supposed to do that? Can I throw this over there? No, of course not. Of course not! You there, you got any useful advice? Boing oing! Flip the two switches at the same time if you want to cross up ahead. And a bomb chew could do all the work while you stand around. How? How's a bomb chew gonna do all the work? Doesn't seem possible. Can you do two of them at once? I don't think that's a thing. I can't imagine that that's actually a thing. Oh. I can. No, no, I can't. Wait a minute. You can! You, all, you gotta, all you gotta do is click it again, and then it disengages the cutscene. Of course. At least I learned that when I was trying to make two of them. I learned the hard way that you can only do two of them at, at a time, but while this one's scurrying off... There we go. This'll be good. <laughs> That's how you do it. My bad, I wasn't quite sure how you were supposed to do that. Also, I should probably make use of these physical controls that I have. 
Because it seems as though I'm using the touch screen exclusively. What do, what do I even have this for, huh? It's much better when I can at least use use it for movement. Because it's kind of awkward to, to both use it for movement and attacking. I like games like Kid Icarus Uprising and Metroid Prime Hunters that have physical controls for actually moving around, but then you can use the touch screen to, you know, aim at, plan out your attack. Or, you know, work out the basics of your attack with, more or less, if that makes any sense. You know, aim with. Aim your attack. Yeah, forget this. Cool. Neat. I'm glad that's a thing that happened. What's in here? Open it. You got a red rupee! It's worth 20 rupees! <laughs> really? Here I thought it was made of pixie dust. Thank you for informing me. Okay, I know exactly what to do. Once it passes the over there, I gotta hit, hit it again. Pretty sure that's what I gotta do. There we go. Easy peasy. Now that I know that I can back out of the bomb chew cam, that makes it absurdly easy. More or less. Oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought, big guy. You ain't going nowhere. I may have exploded myself a little bit, but it's well worth the well worth the cost if it means sending you into hell. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What are you doing? Sure, why not? Little prick. Well, here we go. Oh crap. Crud. It's probably not the best thing I could have done. You know, it might be easier if I get this one to go on. Yeah, that one will get stuck on that one, and at least I won't have to take the final one as far. It would really be stupid if I ended up having to take it all the way back to that corner. As is, I gotta take it all the way over here. But you know, it's no big deal. I know you like to do cutscenes, but uh, I'm in a hurry here. I got places to be, don't you know? Pots are getting their revenge on Link. They know that he's been smashing them without a care in the world. So that's where the boss is. Which means there'll be a boss key around here somewhere. I guarantee it. And a shortcut. It's perfect for soup. Wrong quote. <laughs> Free ride, free ride, and a hot plate! Sorry, sometimes I just go into a Simpsons quoting mood. Uh, these, these big guys, aren't, aren't they just adorable? Take this! Nice. Take this! Take this, you freak! You aren't so tough! <laughs> now we're both dizzy. That was kind of funny, wasn't it? Now die! Oh, look! Oh, neat. For some reason, I thought it was going to where, uh, Gagorin was. Nope, not that. It wasn't that. Yeah, that's what I thought. You gotta use the bomb- you gotta use a bomb chew. Oh, you prick. Little freaks. You big freak. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Take this! Heh, <laughs> nice. Not only did you not kill me, 
You made me stronger! Or at least wealthier. So basically stronger. Wealth is power! Or it can be in the right circumstances. Yeah, there we go. Go, Freedom Mouse, go! Nicely done. Way to go, Freedom Mouse. You have served your country well. Or something. Oh, I see. They're gonna blow up on everything except what I need to need to blow up on. No, cancel. What the? Ah, okay. Cancel out of it completely. So that's cool. Little pricks. Well, let's see. Oh, crud. Let's try this. If it blows up into something, oh well. There we go. Okay. Okay, at least this freeze frames everything, so I can hopefully get it into position. Come on, do it. Do it. Avoid them as best you can. Never mind. Never freaking mind. Oh. Is that not on a timer? Because that would be great if it wasn't. Well, that time, my problem was not going far enough. I should have set it on a direct collision course. Of course, it's not going to just magically know. Well, uh, <laughs> sure, why not? Let's have it scuttle about a around a bit. Go home, Bomchu, you're drunk. You're drunk! You're drunk, Bomchu! You're drunk! This is gonna be the bomb key. No, the boss key, sorry. Why did I say bomb key? Because I'm thinking, I got bombs on my mind. There you go. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's funny how those, those tiles look like, um, creeper faces. But then again, that's because creeper faces just so happen to look like that. Eh, it's not really on it. Besides, I'm... No, actually, I don't even remember when Minecraft released, actually. But this was on the DS, so this has been around a while, so... I guess it's a toss-up which one came first. Eh, yeah, forget it. It's probably not that important, I'm just... rambling on about nothing. Click! Nicely done. Excellent! Sweet! And now... My preparation! Sweet! Let me guess, this boss is gonna require a bomb chew, right? Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance! Thank you for letting me know! Huh, weird. Oh, okay, that's to let me know that I can't draw on this map. Too bad! I was planning on drawing all over it. Not really, but hey, I can pretend. Yeah, that's what I thought. You gotta use bomb chews to get to this creature. Dongorongo! Armored lizard! Dongorongo! Look at that massive beast, Link! But it's way over there on the other side of the sand pit. How about... My brother, let's bring down that monster together, Gora Link! I can help you trip it up from here, and then you can then you attack from over there. Thanks for the advice. How do I do that? Is there some way? There's gotta be a way, right? You're under attack, Goro Link! Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoops. You prick. Hey, while controlling Gungorin, you must watch out for yourself, too! Switch control right away when I yelp for help! How come they can't... How come they have no control over themselves? How come... 
How come Gungoran doesn't seem to have any control whatsoever? Okay, do I have to hit his tail or something? Is that what I gotta do? Because I get the feeling that's what I'm supposed to do. Crud. This is stupid. I don't even know how you're supposed to defeat him. I assume it has something to do with the tail, but I can't figure it out. Striking him from the front is useless. Watch for a chance to use a targeted attack and tap it si Okay, you gotta target the side. Now I get it. Well, at least I don't have to worry about that. Come on, you prick. Dang it. There you go. Okay, I assume what I have to do is hit it with a bomb, right? That works, right? <laughs> well, uh, shakes it off if you haven't already injured it. Dang it. There you go. Nice. Oh, okay. Now, it, now it'll let me do it. Oh, you gotta go for its mouth. Typical fashion, right? Gulp! Kaboom! Well, I figured it out a little too late, but I figured it out. Oh, crap. Well, oh, yeah, they, they actually share health, so if, if I get health for one of them, it gets health for both of them. Come on. There we go. This is amazing. It's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Once you figure out what to do, it's actually really easy. It's more of a boss, more of a puzzle than anything else, I'm sorry. It's a puzzle. You just gotta figure out the puzzle, you know? No, don't, don't recover. Thank you. Kaboom! He's gonna get more aggressive, isn't he? Oh boy. Take this! Shut up! This is the time, brother! Hit him with all your might! Uh oh. Yeah, not that way. Go into the freaking thing's mouth! Shove yourself down its gullet! And give us something to really. Way to go. Way to go, me. Really setting the bar high, aren't you? Let's hurry this up. Before he gets a chance to recover. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. The door has opened. Thanks for the help, Gagorin. You defeated the monster, Goro Link. The pure metal is in there. I will run ahead to get it. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, great. Yeah, I knew it. That boss isn't as dead as we thought it was. Of course not. Now it's time for phase two. I see. He's got a great big bulb on his head. On his body. Ah, crap. I know what to do. Unfortunately, it's going to take some concentration. I gotta stun him when he's when he's reeling in to hold, when he's reeling in to suck me in. Also, I should have realized. Come on, Link. Take this, you prick. Now I understand. Ah. It's a lot easier than you may think. A lot more set straightforward than you may think, too. Take that, you prick. Well, I guess all those beatings on his side actually did help. Douche. Oh, come on, man. Blocking me. Get me ugh, frickin'. I can't even get the frickin' bombs. You suck. You frickin' suck, man. You frickin' suck. Take this. Instead of that payback. 
Take this! I will take advantage of your stunned state as much as physically possible. But now I'm out of bombs thanks to you. Thanks for nothing, you jerk. Dang it. I guess I'll have to use the bomb flower. Oh well, it's just as good, right? <laughs> oh, that was close. Yeah, I don't think so, you little freak. You're not getting anyone. Was that really all you had going for you? <laughs> Pathetic. I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I should have known that's what... I should have known better. Of course the boss fight wouldn't be over. Those bomb flowers had to be used for something, and they didn't get into the sand hourglass. What the? All oh, right, it has to explode into it. You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Yeah. Sweet. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Wonder what's in the treasure. Oh, okay, a heart container. You got a heart container! You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts! Sorry, Gagorin, we kinda got split up there. Hey, buddy. I have been waiting for you, Goro Link. I heard all about that terrible threat. I heard all that terrible thrashing. Did something happen in there, brother? Oh, that nasty beast must have only passed out when you left us. But he couldn't stand up to Link. Oh no, I only left because I thought that we had defeated it. Don't worry, man. He was actually pretty pathetic. But we couldn't have done it without you, Gungorn. After our battles together, I have a brand new impression of you now. Yeah, me too. The kid isn't so bad. Oh, it was nothing really. And so I present to you the Gorn Pure Metal, brother. Behold the Pure Metal, brother. Thanks, Gungorn. Then let's go grab it, Link. Yes, let's. It's gonna be exciting. You got the Crimsonite. It's one metal you need to make the sacred sword. Only a sword forged of the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. You did it. You got some pure metal. I guess that Lineback's nose for treasure actually works sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. That is the Crimsonite that we Gorons treasure with such pride. So you have accomplished your goal, right, brother? Time to head home, then. Hey, Gagorin, try not to get... Try not to get yourself good and lost again, okay? Oh, no problem. Oh, and after you leave this place, stop by my home. My father and I will be waiting for you. See you later, brother. Look like he was more hesitant to say at that time. Good kid, but he's such a pushy guy. Well, let's head up back to the chief's home. Sure, may as well. Oh, nice. I don't even have to go back through the boss's chamber. I can just go straight through from here. Convenient! Now that's convenience you can really buy for a dollar? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh well, let's quickly go back to the chief's house. Sprint, Link! Sprint with all your might! Sprint like your life depends on it, and it might just, it just might. Gotta love the Gorin theme. And I can make it sound faster. Actually sounds cooler like this. I know time is almost out, but I can at least talk to him. I've been waiting for you, brother. I was just telling my father about how we joined forces to defeat those creatures. You should tell him everything that happened too, Goro Link. Oh, Gungoran told me all about your efforts. So thank you, you can take the Crimson Nine with you. It is our pure metal. Boil, bake, or forge it, whatever you like. For it is yours, brother. All right, Goro Link. It has become clear to me that you stand tall and proud among us. This is difficult for me to say, but I believe the time has come for you to leave. 
As a parting gift, I will return the Goron fee you contributed to us, brother. Nice. You got a big red rupee. It's worth 200 rupees. I added a bonus for you. A little something for the Goron people. I hope that your pride only grows with time, brother. Thanks. I guess. I wasn't expecting that money back, but hey. <laughs> eh, these Gorons really are nice people once you get down to it. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time here, so... Wherever the next pure metal is, we'll just have to find out together, won't we? Uh, who am I kidding? You probably, you probably already know where the pure metals are already. You've probably played this or seen someone else play this before. But if you haven't, well, I'm glad I'm your first. But anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like treasure hunting. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.